All right, kindergartners, welcome to calendar. Um, should we begin with my song? Ready? Domingo, lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado. Domingo, lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Thanks for singing. Today, we're going to talk a little bit more about our words. Let's see if you remember. What do you do when I say wait? You go, wait, like you're holding something really heavy, right? Let's practice that. Ready? Wait. Good job. What do you do if I say length? Oh, I Always do that one. If I say length, what do you do? Like that. Let's practice that. Ready? Length. What do you do if I say temperature? Do you remember? This one's tricky. <sighs> temperature, like we're really cold. Let's practice temperature. Awesome. And what do you do if I say capacity? You go like a basketball hoop, right? You go capacity. Good job. So let's look at the days that we've had so far to check our pattern of what they measure. So it's a little bit hard to see, isn't it? That's okay. Hopefully by repeating after me, you'll learn the pattern just from hearing it. Ready? So we have a ruler. A ruler measures length. Then we have weight with our scales. We have capacity with the measuring spoons. We have temperature with the thermometer. Again, length, weight, capacity, temperature. Here we have length, here we have weight, here we have capacity. This one's new to us because it happened over the weekend. And last but not least, we have temperature over here, it's harder to see. I'm gonna show you these new ones. So this one is another kind of measuring cup. It shows us capacity. This one, oh my gosh, it's 97 degrees outside in this picture. The dog is really hot. Look, his tongue's out. He's sitting in the shade, thanks goodness, but he needs a little bit of water. So if our pattern goes length, what, it goes length, weight, capacity, temperature. Length, weight, capacity, temperature. Length, weight, capacity, temperature. What will today's be? What are we thinking, kindergarten? Length, weight, capacity, temperature. And then we'll start over with, should we see? All right, you guys, our last three ones to measure what I think you're going to say. Are you going to say length? If you were going to say length, go like this. And now give yourself a pat on the back. You are correct. Today we'll measure length if our pattern is correct. Hopefully Benji can help us out with this one. Benji, what do we use to measure length over here? Do you remember what that's called? A ruler. And over here, what's that? Let's see, let me ask Bella this time. Bella, what's this one? Another ruler. And what's over here? Oh my gosh, maybe if Jaden's watching me. Jaden, what's this one? Another ruler. Do you think that it's possible for us to have four rulers in a row? Ready? Oh my gosh, you guys. Is it another ruler? Ready? Tell me on three. One, two, three. Yeah, it is another ruler. Can you guys believe that? Oh my goodness. And a ruler measures length, right? Repeat after me. A ruler measures length. Perfect. So let's tape up these little guys that I have, the little tiny ones, so that we can keep looking at our pattern. Remind me, this card of our measuring cup, what is this measure? C 
capacity. Good job. I'm going to put this with our other capacity ones. And then over here where it says 97 degrees Fahrenheit for our poor doggy, what does that measure? Is that length, weight, capacity, or temperature? Temperature. Good job. Awesome. And then finally, our one for today, the ruler. Does that say, or does that measure length, weight, capacity, or temperature? Yep, great work, it's length. So I'm gonna put it over here with all my other rulers. Oh my goodness. Woof, we are flying through today, my friends. Um, I have a question for you. I wanna see, what would you guys think if I were to show you this hat? This is a very special hat. It has the Timbers logo on it. And I'm wondering, if we looked at this hat, what would you want to measure about it? Could you jump up and down three times if you would want to measure its length? Okay. Thinking of the tools we've used before on our calendar pattern, what tool would we use to measure the length of this hat? A what? A scale? No, we would use a ruler. Good job, a ruler. And a ruler would tell us how long this hat is. Now, I might also wonder how heavy, how much does this hat weigh? What would we use to weigh the hat? Remember, weight goes like this, like it's really heavy. Do you remember what our word is? I think we know it in Spanish, but do you know it in English? What do we use to measure weight? A scale. Can you say scale? A scale like una balanza. How about, I think the first thing I would want to know if I were to measure this hat is its capacity, right? Capacity is how much of something you can fit in something else. So I would want to know... How many ice cubes can I fit in this hat? No, how many marshmallows? If you like marshmallows, could you please raise your hand? And put your hand on your shoulder. And put your hand on your nose. And put your hand on your ear. And wink. Do you like marshmallows? How many marshmallows could fit in this hat? How many chocolate chips? <laughs> how many pine cones? How many kittens could fit in this hat? That is a way we could measure its capacity. And then finally, temperature. Now, do you think we really need to know the temperature of this hat? No, that's kind of a silly one. Maybe I can think of something else we could measure the temperature for, like ice cream. Ice cream has to be cold, right? Or else it's just regular cream. Our hat is just the same temperature as the room. I can tell that by touching it. I don't need a thermometer to measure that. All right, team, thanks for talking about my favorite hat with me. Um, I miss you guys like crazy extra today, honestly, because it's so nice outside. And I wish we could do science class outside. But I will see you in a little bit for English language development, and we will talk about things related to science. So I'll see you there, kindergartners.